Feeling really good today, guys. Uh, very energetic, a lot of positive vibes. I'm trying to send some through the monitor screen to you guys. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to Setup Wars episode 260, budget edition. As always, the total budget of the setups is gonna be around $2,000 USD. But with that said, sit back and relax, because you know what time it is. Clearly it's time to peel off stickers from new shirts. Yeah, let's just start the intro. It's already ruined, I ruined it. How would you like your very own tech expert to help you make smart purchasing decisions? Well, that's what today's sponsor is. Luster is a free browser extension that does extensive product research for you and guides you on making the best possible decision for your budget and needs. Let's say you're shopping around for a new gaming mouse and you don't know which one to buy. Well, Luster will immediately tell you which ones are the best for your money. You can actually see why they chose the products they did by checking the reviews and ratings from sources you already trust, like Wirecutter, Reddit, and even other YouTubers. Luster also tells you if a product is on sale by comparing prices across many retailers like Walmart, Best Buy, and Target so that you are always getting the lowest price. So if you want to make sure your money doesn't go to waste on crappy products, then make sure to download and install Luster for free by clicking my link down below. So I want to start off the episode by looking at Angel's original setup before he upgraded. This is what my guy was rocking for the longest time. He started off with a laptop on a tiny little nightstand and you can see the mouse pad just hanging off the table because of how small it is. But I do have to say that it is very clever use of space by propping up the laptop like that to make room for his keyboard. Then he upgraded the most important piece of any setup, the desk. I always say you need a solid foundation to build a solid setup on, so I'm happy to see that he spent the money on a great desk. What do you guys think the next piece of gear is that he upgraded? If you guessed monitor, you were correct. Angel definitely picked the best upgrade path for his setup, and after being inspired by Setup Wars, he found a job and worked day and night to upgrade his setup to this. A beautiful, all white on blue setup for gaming, editing, and streaming. The main monitor is a 27 inch, 240 hertz display that he games on with a secondary 24 inch vertical mode for multitasking. I just love how you position the desk lamp so that it blocks the monitor arm in the back. Big brain moves. We also have a TV mounted up top for watching videos or movies. Keeping with the color scheme of the setup, we have the wired Glorious Model D gaming mouse paired with a GK61 keyboard with white G-Skill Crystal Crown keycaps. Those look pretty sweet. One thing I would have done differently was used a thinner raceway. The one you have now is pretty wide and it sticks out quite a bit. But if you want a much cleaner alternative, you can actually swap the black cables from both the keyboard and mouse and pick up a white one instead. Then you can use smaller white cable clips to route the cables across the desk. In my opinion, this will look a lot cleaner with your setup. It doesn't look like the setup has any speakers, but he does own a pair of Arctis 7 wireless headphones with a microphone coming soon. I was about to say, if you're gonna take streaming seriously, you definitely need a microphone setup as well. Cables are managed pretty well with the help of a signum rack and a few power strips to plug everything in, nicely done. And finally, we got the PC powering it all. It's a beautiful custom build inside the Landcool 2 case. One of my all time favorite cases. If you guys remember, I did the original Frost build in here a while back. We got the Ryzen 5 5600X and a GTX 780 in here due to GPU shortage. He said he wants to be able to upgrade to a 3060 Ti or a 3070 eventually. Obviously with a 780, he's not able to take advantage of the 240 Hertz refresh rate on the monitor. So a 3070 would make more sense here. Nonetheless, this is such an inspiring setup to start off the show. Congrats on your new setup, Angel, and thank you for sharing this with us. Keeping the momentum going, we have yet another extremely clean and minimalistic setup from George, who is from the UK. It took him a total of three years to save up and build this setup for the purpose of gaming and schoolwork. The first thing I noticed here was the monitor. Personally, I think skinning the bottom bezel in white vinyl will go a long way and better match the rest of the color scheme of the setup. The setup is so minimal, it doesn't even have a mouse pad, just a 65% keyboard and a jelly comb wireless mouse. I'll tell you what, George, if you want one of my Topo White mouse pads, just hit me up on Discord and I'll send it over for free. The only other things on the desk are his Creative Pebble speakers and a bamboo phone stand. I love that he definitely has a space to keep his Xbox on the desk, but decided to mount it against the wall regardless, so he keeps with the minimal theme. 
Extra points, by the way, for that awesome raceway you have hooked up on the wall for cable management. He did a pretty good job decorating the setup with the small pegboard up top and an IKEA shelf on the side. It's tasteful and not overdone in my opinion. The setup is actually powered by his ASUS VivoBook laptop that he stores in one of the drawers and he uses an HDMI switcher underneath the desk to switch displays over to his Xbox when he's using it. While I do like how clean and minimal the setup is, I can't help but feel like there are areas of improvement. For starters, the cable management. George could have used the built-in rack underneath a lot better to his advantage and tidy up the loose wires using cable clips and velcro straps. Second, I would have loved to see more consistency with the color scheme. You know, I can tell George put in some thought for the setup, otherwise it wouldn't look as clean as this. So when I see missed opportunities like not skinning the bottom bezel in white, or even something silly as not going with a white mesh trash can can really go against the aesthetics of an all white setup. Either way, this is a hell of an improvement over your previous setup. Thank you, George, for sharing this with us. Man, oh man, these setups are getting cleaner by the minute. Coming at number three is Joseph from Sheffield, England and his super cozy setup for entertainment and web browsing. Surprisingly, he doesn't use it for gaming, but it did take him two months to complete. First off, I want to point out the awesome desk combo. It's really refreshing seeing people using the IKEA mid back legs instead of the usual Alex units that we see everywhere. That in combination with the light brown countertop adds this level of elegance, if you will, to the setup. We got a single 24 inch monitor hooked up to a desk mount and below that we got the RK61 wireless keyboard paired with the Hoopond wireless mouse. I didn't even know they made extended mouse pads this small, that's pretty cute actually. Since Joseph doesn't game, he doesn't own any headphones, so all the audio comes from his Amazon Echo smart speaker. Honestly, I would just throw in some Creative Pebbles in white for better overall sound when watching videos or movies. They sound incredible for the price. Overall, no complaints when it comes to the cable management. I do like how he used the brick area behind the setup to rest the power strip on. And then finally, we got the custom PC inside the Corsair IQ4000X. Normally, people would be roasting this PC as it's extremely unbalanced, but in today's world, this is what most PCs actually look like, sadly. A good looking system with a low budget GPU or no GPU at all. The most important thing here is that he has a nice foundation to build a sick looking system once he can buy a GPU. Another clean and minimal setup for the episode, thank you Joseph for entering. I was debating on holding off on the setup to include it in the next laptop edition, but I just had to show it off in this episode because it is simply too beautiful to ignore. I just have to point out real quickly how perfectly the PS5 fits inside one of the drawers. I feel like this desk was made just for it. So the setup is actually being powered by a Surface Laptop 3, which he keeps in one of the other drawers to maintain this super clean and minimal aesthetic. He has a service book connected to a single 29 inch ultrawide from LG that he mounted against the wall and we have a single raceway covering the cables going down and behind the Alex drawer. I love the extra attention to the cable management here. Speaking of cables, he went wireless for the peripherals. He stuck with the Microsoft Surface Keyboard and the MX Master 2S for convenience and it just blends in so nicely with the color scheme of the setup. There are no headphones for the setup by the way. The only gaming he does is on the PS5, which is hooked up to a larger TV up top, while the Surface Book 3 is mostly used for productivity and homework. You have definitely come a long way from the very beginning of your setup transformation. It's always nice to see clean and minimal setups like this on a budget. Thank you, Mithul, for sharing this with us. Mithul? 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 It is Mithul. Wrapping up the episode is yet another clean setup, but not so much on the minimal side. Yusa from the Netherlands built this setup in two and a half years for the purpose of gaming, schoolwork, and watching YouTube and Netflix. If you guys are going to add a monitor riser, it needs to have purpose. In this case, it adds a bit of utility. It brings the speakers closer to ear level while providing extra storage space for the Xbox One. Plus, it also blends in perfectly with the theme of the setup. So a really nice use of the Alex add-on unit here. For peripherals, we got the SteelSeries Apex 7 TKL keyboard paired with the PulseWire Dart mouse and a dope mouse pad to go along with it. Aside from the speakers, he also has a pair of Arctis 3s hanging underneath the desk and a blue snowball microphone. I do want to take a minute and point out the clever boom arm mounting here. Originally, the desk didn't have a lip to clamp the boom arm due to both of the Alex drawers. So Yusha pushed in the drawers a little bit to create that extra lip to mount his boom arm. Nicely done. I also like the way he installed those wall shelves up top. You know, sometimes you don't need symmetry 
to make it look good. As long as there is some sort of style that fits with the theme of your setup, then you're good. The PC powering it all is a beautiful custom budget build featuring the Ryzen 5 3600 and an MSI GTX 1660 inside the Corsair IQ 220T case. As always, love seeing the cable extensions to improve the overall look of the system and job well done on the execution of the setup. As a reminder, you guys can always pick up a cheap Windows CD key for less than $15. Just click on my link below and use the code TS20 for an extra 20% off. Once you get your CD key, just visit the activation settings in Windows and change your product key. It's that simple. And that will do it for today's video. As always, make sure you guys comment below. Let me know which of these setups was your absolute favorite. And let me know why, because I'm always reading the comment section within the first day of upload. Um, as always, if you guys are enjoying Season 5 Setup Wars, make sure to smash the like button to let me know. And if you're new here, consider subscribing, because I do host Setup Wars every single Monday. I love you beautiful toenails, and I'll see you very soon in the next one.